guys, we are here at the Porsche Experience Center Atlanta and we are here with Grant and he is going to take me out on the track and show me how to drive a couple cars. But first, he's going to show me exactly what we're going to be doing out on the track. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So back behind us, this is our track map for our west track. This is the newest of our two tracks. Um, it's a lot longer than our south track. It's about 22 turns, so it's a little bit to memorize, but I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna walk you through all of it. Um, we have about 30 to 40 feet of elevation change. It's a lot of fun. There's a few blind corners that kind of add some spice to it that I'll work you through. Our first two laps will be nice and slow, kind of like a test drive till we know where we're going. Okay. And then we'll kind of go from there. Um, so, really quick, just to orient yourself. This track entrance, this is pretty much where we're standing, and then right behind us, this hairpin turn is literally that turn right there oh, where okay. it's nice and tight. Um, that is our tightest turn on our track. It's okay. very tight. It's over 180 degrees. Okay. Everybody tries to go fast through there. I promise you can't. Um, I'll walk you through I all that good I stuff. I promise I won't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will by the end, but in the beginning, I'll walk you through it. It'll be okay. Uh, and then we're going to go up here. Uh, this is made to replicate the VRSs, which is, you know, Virginia International okay. Speedway. Um, they're pretty close. They're pretty cool. You can actually watch that GT3 go up those Ss. Like cool. I said, this is where we start to get some of the elevation change. It's about 30, 40 feet. And then you'll notice as they crest that hill, it's kind of blind because that's up about 20 feet. And that's right about there on that map. And then we're going to go down here to the right, down that hill. And we'll continue to go to the left here. And then this section right here is the Laguna Seca course. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of that. It is by far my favorite track in the country, uh, my favorite turn in the country. It's super cool. That's going to be about a 30-foot drop, but it has some camber, so it kind of catches the car. You can kind of see the backside oh, okay. of it over there. Um, I'll walk you through that. You'll get some of that G-force on the way down. It'll be over a full G. That's where we kind of get some of the roller coaster effect and stuff like that. All right. Uh, that'll lead us to a pretty short state away before we hit the Daytona bus stop right here. Um, I kind of call this a chicane because when I call it a bus stop a lot of people think you're going to stop I promise you don't <laughs> it's just to slow us down for this hairpin right here once again I'll walk you through all that there'll be some cones here to show you where we're going oh, okay uh, and then we'll hit this hairpin onto our one and only straightaway on our entire course here uh, this is also the first of two passing zones I'll walk you through passing in a little bit uh, the second one's going to be up in the carousel which I'll talk about in a little bit as well okay. uh, but at the end of this straightaway it looks like there's a Y and you have a choice I promise you don't there's going to be some cones right here we're going to go to the oh. right every single time uh, this is made to replicate the dragon's tail uh, that famous road up there in the mountains and then we'll come around and go to our carousel which is made to replicate the north light it's actually really close it's about 27 degrees of camber uh, you can kind of think about like a NASCAR our track something like that where you drop in you have some banking and you're going around okay. um, our goes to the right the real one goes to the left but the biggest thing to notice about this is the checkered pattern on the inside that's where the banking is on the outside that's a normal road it's about seven degrees it really just is a normal road so we don't have to take the carousel every single time okay. uh, in fact our first two laps will probably just stay on the outside we'll get a look at it get a little prepared and then I'll tell you to drop in there and if you like it we can use it if not we can stay on the outside it's not a big deal okay. um, so really quick like I said I'll touch on passing um, if we catch anybody on the track uh, anywhere else other than our straightaway or our carousel we're gonna give them about two car lengths. Um, okay. Not everybody has a ton of experience. Some people are more nervous with cars than others. Um, so we'll give them a little bit of distance. And then once we come around to the straightaway, what you're gonna notice is the slower car in front of us is gonna move over to the right and the coach is gonna hit the hazards for them. Once okay. the coach hits the hazards, do give me a second. It's like half the reason I'm wearing a radio just to make sure everything's going good. If it is, we'll pass them on the left, accelerate, go about our business, no big deal. Okay. Same thing here for our carousel, it's just gonna be inverse. The slower car is gonna stay on the left-hand side, that normal road. The coach will hit the hazards, they'll kind of cruise around, 25, 35 miles per hour, no big deal. The faster car will go on the inside, passing the carousel seamlessly. Okay. Um, same thing, if we're the slower car, I'm gonna have the mirrors. You're gonna focus on everything in front of you, the sides and behind us, that's me. <laughs> you got a little co-pilot today. Uh, so you really won't know there's a car behind you, which is the goal, and then till right about here, and I'll tell you to move to the right, I'll hit the hazards for you. All you got to do, breathe off the gas, cruise at 25, 35 miles per hour. Not a big deal. Okay. Um, the only thing we don't want you to do is brake slow abruptly. Uh, these cars are obviously very fast. You could go 55 down this road and the passing car is still going to have no problem. Um, so just legitimately just cruise like a okay. neighborhood road. Once they pass us, I'll tell you to move to the left. We'll go about our business seamless. Okay. Um, there's also not too many cars out here, so it won't be too, too prevalent. 
Um, other than that, we have three modules here for you today. We have one dry one, two wet ones. Um, I'll start with the dry one here. This is our dynamics area, or our autocross as we call it. Um, you can see it back there. It's the one with all the cones. Uh, that's where we're going to be doing some acceleration, some deceleration. Uh, and then we'll break off into an autocross, which is just a track made of cones. Um, it's only about three, four, I think five turns. Uh, it's not anything crazy, but it is a place that we can kind of push the car a little bit more because it's better to hit a cone than it is to hit a guard. Uh, so that's a place where we can kind of really test out the handling, fear a little bit of understeer, a little bit of oversteer, stuff like that. Uh, but more importantly, this is where we get to do launch control. And oh. the first car we'll be in is a turbo. It goes zero to 60, about 2.4 seconds, oh, uh, 640 boy. horsepower. It's absolutely ridiculous. You'll feel the blood rush out of your toes. Um, I will tell you to put your head back on the seat because if you don't, you get a little bit of a concussion, you know, whiplash. <laughs> Um, so I'll prepare you for all that, uh, and then more importantly here at the end, uh, we're going to brake, or at least most importantly to me, because I don't like going off the sides, so we'll brake nice and quick. Yes. Um, that's one of the most important parts of this entire experience is the braking. Uh, but not only that, the braking on these Porsches are fantastic. Um, it's honestly almost more impressive than the acceleration to me. Um, so we'll have some fun with that. Um, and then for our wet modules, we have an ice hill. It's the longest ice hill in the world. It's 301 feet. The previous record was 300 feet. Wow. Um, so you can tell that was very precise. <laughs> uh, it's at an 8% grade. The best way to imagine it is a treadmill at an 8% grade, but 301 feet long. Okay. Uh, so it's actually pretty cool to look at. It's a pretty big hill. Um, but it's going to be polished concrete with computer-controlled water going down all of it, so it's nice and slick. It's made to replicate ice. Um, as I mentioned a little bit, before the turbo, it's really not that fun there because it has so much grip, you just drive up the hill. Okay. GT3, we're going to be on Sport Cup 2s. The tire isn't that great, great in the wet, um, so it'll be a little bit harder to go up it. So we'll kind of have some fun with that, some throttle control, some steering, all that good stuff. We'll feel out the differences in the car. Okay. Um, and then we will go down the hill as well, and we'll kind of wag the tail, get it fished down a little <laughs> bit, have some fun. Pretend like we're skiing down a hill, all that good stuff. And then lastly, we have our low friction circle here. That's just a skid pad. Uh, it's polished concrete, again, with water on top of it. Whole okay. bunch of sprinklers. That's where we'll do a little bit of drift in, a little bit of understeer, a whole bunch of stuff there. Um, and the turbo, it's a little bit harder because it's four wheel drive. So I'll kind of explain to you what is different while we're out there. Okay. Um, but as you know, I'm sure it's a little bit harder to get a four wheel drive car out of control yes. compared to the GT3 where it's two wheel drive. You hit the gas, you go spinning around. It'll be a ton of fun. Uh, so that's pretty much our entire experience. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, if you do get hot out there or anything like that, just let me know. I'm okay. going to be in the car with you the whole time. So let me know if you're feeling anything weird, Okay. hot, cold, whatever the case may be. I'm pretty okay. fair weather. We can adjust the AC as we need. Okay, okay. Um, other than that, do you have any questions? No. Comments, concerns? I'm ready. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's what we want to hear. Um, so we'll head over to our cars. We okay. can kind of get some introductions to it. You can take any pictures you want. Um, these are all your cars for, you know, the full 90 minutes. Okay. Uh, so the last thing I will say is kind of like I mentioned, you know, make sure you tailor this to yourself. Okay. We're doing something that you don't necessarily like. One of the modules, you're like, that's not fun. Tell me. Okay. Uh, I've done all this more than enough. If you say you don't want to launch the car again, it's not going to hurt my feelings. Okay. Um, on the flip side of it, if you're like, man, I really like doing that. You're like, I want to do it again. We can do it the whole time. Okay. Pretty much I can spend a whole hour and a half on all of these modules, anything like that. I can go in as in-depth or surface level as you want. Um, all of our coaches out here have a plethora of knowledge. Cool. Um, so any questions you have, please do ask. Okay. Uh, I'll try to give you at least a couple of tips maybe you can take away and yes. use in your normal <laughs> everyday driving life. I could use that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so like I mentioned, this is our, our turbo, Guards Red. Um, very cool, 640 horsepower, all-wheel drive, um, a ton of fun. Really, honestly, just a ridiculously fast car. It's straight line speed is ridiculous. It handles very, very well. I'll kind of walk you through all that good stuff. Okay. Um, we have a couple of things in the car that helps it handle uh, PDCC. Um, you know, our PDK is very cool as well. That transmission, I'll walk you through all that good stuff. And like okay. I said, launch control is by far my favorite thing in the world. Okay. Um, and then our GT3, we'll kind of go over that when we get in it. All right. Um, is this what we're taking first? Yes. Okay. This one's a little bit, it's like a golden retriever, you know? Like, oh. if you make a little mistake and you, like, do something it doesn't like, it just looks at you and wags its tail, it's all happy. There's I like no that. <laughs> GT3 is a little bit more like a cat where you, like, make a wrong move and it, like, hisses at you and, like, scratches you a little bit and you're like, 
I didn't even do anything. It is, so. That's my language right <laughs> exactly, there. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll start on the turbo. We'll, we'll start with the golden retriever. We'll kind of learn how to handle it, pet it a little bit, make it nice and happy. Uh, and then we'll move over to the cat and we'll just be real delicate with it and I'll walk you through all that good stuff. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. So we'll get you to hop in the driver's seat here. I'll help you adjust the seat, um, get in a good driving position. Um, I always kind of describe it like an athletic position in sports, uh, but just for driving. Oh, cut. So you can actually, everything's going to be on your left hand side. These are the 18 way adjustable seats, which oh, all okay. that means is there's a whole lot of buttons for you to get confused down there. Yeah, apparently. Um, and the, yeah, the big one in the front is like that. <laughs> Important. Uh, you can actually start the car if you want. We can get some, it'll be on the left hand side. Where? Right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not. Very cool. Yep, so keep moving forward. Really what I'm looking for is that left foot to be nice and flush against that dead pedal so you're able to brace yourself. Um, okay. That helps a lot when we are pulling those higher Gs when we are kind of cornering a little bit faster than you're used to. You're able to stable, stabilize yourself. Okay. And then next we'll obviously worry about height. As long as you're able to see up and over that dashboard, uh, you don't have to see the entirety of the hood, but I'd like you to be able to see at least kind of the fenders a little bit over, at least your left fender. That looks about good. Okay. How's yeah. that feel? Good. And then lastly, we'll adjust the steering wheel. Okay. Um, I always tell people if you reach your left arm out, completely extend it to the side, it should be about where your watch is. Okay. Um, so that actually looks pretty good. If you want it to be in out, I mean, there's some of it is personal preference. It's completely up to you. Uh, but to me, that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's okay. All right, beautiful. Feels and then the good. last thing I'll mention is these two little rocker buttons right here. Yeah. These are your boisters for the seat. So it's, a, it's made to be a racing seat that's infinitely adjustable. Okay. So the one right here is going to be your rib cage. So if you push that forward, it'll get tighter on your rib cage. If you pull the shit back, it'll get looser. And then the one right in front of that will be for your thighs, same way. Um, if you push it forward, it'll get tighter on your thighs. If you push it back, it'll get looser. Um, that's another way, yeah, oh, that's that another, way. absolutely just like that. That's oh, another okay. way you can kind of get comfortable in the seat so you're not having to do quite as much work uh, as we're in those corners and you don't fatigue quite as fast. Okay. Um, and then the last one, the circle behind you is just your regular lumbar. And then this very front one is the pad underneath your thighs if you want oh, okay. to go forward or back. Okay. Perfect. So I'll go ahead and give you your seatbelt and then I'll get in there and get nice and comfortable. Thank you. you. Hi, Pete. That's beautiful. I feel great that Good. you're gonna help me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got your back the whole way. I promise it's really, it'll be good. Okay. Um, go and throw some drives. So you just pull that all the way back. And then we're gonna go out straight and to the right. We're gonna line up with these green cones. Come in. Yeah, you're good in the way. In between those? Yep, absolutely. In between those, that's gonna lead to our course. Donkey. Should I be worried about this mirror or that's set up how you want it? Set up how okay. I want it. Just like I said, you just focus on everything <laughs> okay. ahead, everything to the sides, behind this. <laughs> okay. I got you. You got a little co-pilot today. Awesome. Beautiful. Go ahead and head straight for me. Yep, keep rolling. A little bit faster. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. So we're just going to cruise around. Okay. Uh, this will be our, like I said, our first couple of laps are legitimately, it's just like a test drive. It's like, you just took one of these off the lot. You took a left-hand turn down a road you didn't know where you're going, which we're going to keep going to the left to the point, and then you know, I'll lead you around a little bit. We'll get a feel for the car, get a feel for the course, where we're going. This will bend to the right. At the bottom of our hill, we're going to keep going to the left. Yep, it'll be a left right here. Beautiful. We'll go all the way up our hill. Oh, okay. And then we're going to bend to the left again. The top of our hill is going to be a right-hander right here. And then it'll be a quick left-hander here. Go all the way down, we'll keep going straight, all the way to the orange cones. Beautiful. Break right about here, this will be our bus stop. Oh, gotcha. A little bus chicane. Stop. Yeah. Back to the left here. This will lead to our hairpin, the first of two, so this will be a sharp right-hander. And then this will lead to our straightaway. Yay! So 
we'll go all the way down at the very end of this straightaway. It'll be a sweeping right hand corner. Yep, to the right here. And then we'll go back to the left. We'll go all the way down this hill. At the very bottom of it, it'll be kind of again a long radius right hand corner. all the way down. Am I supposed to be in the middle? A little bit of break, yeah. Okay. That's the nice part about being on a course. And then stay to the left corner. We're going to look at our carousel for the first time. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. I see. That's a little bit of, that's the 27 degrees of banking. It looks more intimidating. Cool. <laughs> Once you drop in there, you just kind of cruise all the way through. Oh, Feel boy. a little bit of G-force. It's a little bumpy, but tons of fun. We'll go all the way down straight at the very end. This is going to be our tightest corner on our whole course. Uh, this will be our hairpin. Like I said, it's over 180 degrees. Yep, nice big brake zone. We'll flip around just like that. Perfect. So everything should look a little bit more familiar now. Uh, so we'll do maybe one or two more laps of this just to get nice and familiar. And then we'll head to our first module and kind of experience what this car can come to. We'll get a kind of an idea what we're doing. Right here is perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we haven't even done anything yet. There's nothing to be nervous about, I promise. No, I promise. not at all. <laughs> this is the fun part. This is the easiest part, too. Okay. So if you see those two big orange cones right in front of us, right where that GT2 drove, yep. we're literally just going to drive straight okay. as fast as possible. We're going to smash the throttle. We're going to accelerate as fast as possible all the way to, towards pretty much that hallway of cones. Okay. Once we get there, right around the three cones on the left hand side i'm going to tell you to break okay so the nice part is you don't have to pay attention because i'm going to tell you to okay <laughs> um so as long as you listen you don't have to pay attention to the cones on the left um if you're not a good listener please pay attention to the cones on the left and break right around the three but i have 100 percent faith in you that <laughs> that you're a good listener so we'll be okay there oh, um other than that like i said all we're going to do at, at first we're not going to do any launch control we're just going to accelerate as fast as possible oh, okay. we'll kind of get a little bit of a feel for it and then we'll be able to compare the launch control towards just normal acceleration okay so with that being said whenever you're ready go ahead and floor it just stomp on it stomp on it do All your right. thing <laughs> perfect that's good and break here we're gonna make this sweeping right hand corner Oh, geez. <laughs> it gets faster too. <laughs> That's the scary part. It's like you do that at first and you're like, ah, that was more than fast enough. And you're like, oh, we're not even there yet. And you're like, uh, oh, okay. God. So left foot all the way on the brake. Okay. Right foot all the way down on the gas. All the way down? All the way down. Take your left foot off. <laughs> and brake. Oh That's beautiful. I told you it gets faster. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. I told you, you do the regular acceleration, you're like, that's Whoa. more than fast enough. And then you do your launch control, and you're like, ah. It's, literally, it's like a roller coaster. Yeah, yeah. it is. My goodness. Sorry, if you feel tangly, <laughs> we'll get a little bit of a <laughs> of an example of what we're in for. Oh, geez. Turn nice and tight. Keep that consistent speed. We're going to see if we can't get the back end of the car wiggling around. Oh, okay. yeah. Go and just roll right onto it. Go okay. ahead, keep rolling all that speed. Yes. Yes. More speed. Whoa. That's understeer. Nice, good. You know what I want? Yes, ah. exactly. Good. Very nice. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Back left. Beautiful. That was a perfect example of what I wanted you to see. Take this left, let's go back down to the bottom. So that vibration, do you see when you turn the wheel, you weren't turning as much as you wanted to? Yeah. That's the understeer. The okay. front tires aren't working, they're just skipping across the top. That was kind of what we were talking about, the circle with the turbo. Right. But now, this car does it a little bit more, it has a little bit less weight up front. So this time... Yeah. <laughs> 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 
it's a lot of practice. The car is doing a lot more of it than I am, you know. <laughs> Good job, car. Good yeah, job, exactly. driver. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> it's just a lot of laps. It's a lot of practice. Yeah, hours. I bet. How often do you drive that? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Pretty much, I like everything. <laughs> if I close my eyes, I can 100% Make it around it. there. I can do it. <laughs> it might not look pretty, but I can do it. <laughs> I bet. Thank you for watching our video of the Porsche Experience Center here in Atlanta, Georgia. I hope you had fun. I know I did. If you're ever in the area, definitely stop by and check it out. Thanks to Porsche Cars North America for having us. Amanda Klein signing off. Thank you.